Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to the Anduin fight in Sepulchre of the First Ones on normal and heroic difficulty. Instead of an energy bar, Anduin has a willpower meter that starts out empty. We've all been there. We're going to help him with that during the fight. Anduin will stack up Dark Zeal as he attacks the same target, swinging faster and faster. He will reset when he hits somebody new, so tank swap when that starts to hurt. Hopebreaker does raid damage and puts a stacking dot on the entire raid. That dot continues until we get his willpower to 100, so for now we've just got to heal through it. Wicked Star is just a big old divine star. He'll aim it at a March target, and then it'll boomerang out that way and back. The target should run it clear of people, and then get out of the way after the star has started. Blasphemy marks a selection of players with either light or dark rings. They need to pair up and get to a player with the opposite mark to make it stop. If a ring touches the same color ring or an unmarked player, it explodes for massive damage, so spread out and very carefully get to an opposite mark. Befouled Barrier puts this nasty ring on the ground that absorbs half the healing taken by anybody in it. Even so, we want to heal players in that ring because it will shrink the barrier. After 30 seconds, it'll pop and coat the raid in healing absorbs based on how much barrier was left. So stack the raid into that and lay down some big heals to shrink it down. Domination Word Pain just dots random players, nothing to be done but spot heal that. To help Anduin get his willpower back, some of us are going to need to go into a down phase. To get to the down phase, roughly half the raid will want to stand in the Kingsmorn Hunger's Ark. Down below, you can earn willpower for Anduin by defeating his despair and doubt, and healing up his hope. Top off the hope ads with healing before they reach the center of the room, and watch your feet. Kill all of the ads and you'll pop back up top shortly. After two down phases, Anduin buffs the raid based on his willpower with force of will and then starts the first intermission. He'll summon the remnant of a fallen king for us to fight, and damage taken by the remnant counts towards Anduin. The remnant soul reaper is a big tank buster, swap tanks after each one. Remorseless Winter does raid damage during the intermission, use cooldowns and pray. Army of the Dead summons adds that you will want to cleave down while focusing on the remnant, loosely spread to avoid getting cleaved by the ghoul leaps. When the remnant fills up on energy, the intermission ends and we move on to phase 2. This is almost exactly like phase 1, but no more blasphemy matching rings. Instead, we've got a new mechanic. Grim Reflection summons ghostly adds that spam cast a fear. CC, interrupt, and kill those quickly. If they're still alive by the next intermission, they will superpower, so don't forget about them. The second intermission is the same as the first, but with marching lines of ghosts crossing the room. You cannot kill them, so just run around them and carry on. Finally, you reach the final showdown in Phase 3. Familiar mechanics include the Dark Seal attack speed, the Wicked Star, and Hopebreaker, which now hurts more. New is Hopelessness, which puts deadly bombs onto everyone. Anduin will have a beacon of light zone in the middle that you need to walk your bomb into to cleanse it before it explodes. If one marked player touches another, they will both detonate, so be really careful and give each other space. When the beacon cleanses a bomb, it'll put out a raid-wide dot, so stagger the cleanses to manage raid damage and avoid stacking that up too high. The beacon can also only cleanse so many bombs, so you want to use what you have and finish the fight quickly before that becomes a problem. On normal, that is it. On Heroic, healers will need to dispel Gloom off of the Hope adds in the down phase before they can heal them. Wicked Star will now heal the Fear Spamming adds in Phase 2 if it hits them, so aim it away from the adds. Heroic also spices up the Armies of the Dead in the intermission quite a bit. The Ghoul adds will now explode when they die, and there's a new add type for the tank to pick up. The Monstrous Souls can be tanked and mostly ignored until they unravel down to 30%, when you want to swap to and kill them before they finish their necrotic detonation. On Heroic, the bombs in the final phase will also start to take out nearby players if they do go off, so if you must explode, do so alone and out of the way. And that's Anduin in Sepulchre of the First Ones. Thanks for watching, have fun in there, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.